What's up guys, my name is Ace, and let's talk incendiary rounds in Call of Duty Vanguard. This is just a quick video I wanted to throw together since I have been doing all my attachment testing, and a lot of people have been asking about these incendiary rounds, so let's see exactly how they work. So what I found is with the vast majority of guns, like the regular full autos, SMGs, assault rifles, LMGs, everything like that, if you use the incendiary rounds, when you shoot an enemy player, you're going to be dealing the exact same amount of base damage instantly. However, now there's going to be a burn damage effect applied after that, and this burn damage takes place over three ticks. And the time between each one of these ticks is roughly 200 to 300 milliseconds. It is inconsistent between each one, but in total, all three of these ticks will take 750 milliseconds to take place. And each one of those ticks seems to be dealing roughly three damage per tick. There seems to be some kind of weird rounding though, because for some guns in these three ticks, you're getting nine extra damage. And then for other guns, you're getting 10 extra damage. But in either case, it's roughly three damage per tick for a total of roughly nine to 10 extra damage on top of the regular base damage for that shot fired. And an extra 10 damage per shot sounds pretty ridiculous, actually. That is a massive boost to your damage on these guns, and that would immediately make these completely overpowered. However, there's a couple things to keep in mind. First up, these do apply over these ticks, which take 750 total milliseconds. And that's actually quite a long time in Call of Duty terms when we're looking at a gunfight. Most guns are killing in 200 to 300 milliseconds. But on top of this, if you're firing a gun full auto, and you interrupt the ticks with your next shot that hits it sort of resets the timer on those ticks. So it's not going to stack all these ticks together. You're not actually getting 10 extra damage for every single shot that hits. It's more so 200 milliseconds after the enemy takes damage. This is when the ticks will begin. And you'll continue getting those ticks up to a total of three unless they are interrupted by another shot that hits, in which case it just cancels out any additional damage that shot would have been dealing. And that sort of carries on to the next round. So it's basically when you stop hitting your target for more than 200 milliseconds, this is when the ticks start applying. Now, hopefully that didn't sound way too complicated, but essentially what I'm trying to say here is most of the time with full auto guns, you're going to be dealing a total of roughly 10 extra damage for that gunfight once you stop shooting at that target. So that means if you get killed while shooting that target, those three ticks will still apply and give you that extra 10 damage. Or if you take your time between shots, if you fire one shot, you let those three ticks apply, then you fire another shot, let the three ticks apply, then you will be getting 10 extra damage per shot. But having said that, even that extra 9 to 10 damage total for a gunfight will often be changing the number of shots to kill for a weapon. It's just that it's going to take longer for that damage to apply, and what this generally is going to mean is it's going to result in a lot of kill trade situations. So if you get into that face-to-face -face gunfight, you guys both trade damage with each other, but the other guy comes out on top and beats you. But just by a narrow margin, now you're also going to be killing him, and both of you are going down. Also, in hardcore game modes, for a lot of the guns that don't deal 30 damage, this is an incredible attachment, because now you will be dealing at least a total of 30 damage. So if you catch somebody as they're going around a corner and you get that hit marker on them, you're basically going to be guaranteed to get that kill on them as long as your gun's dealing more than 20 damage, which most guns do. So, so far, it seems like there's definitely a proper trade-off when it comes to incendiary rounds. They're generally not actually going to be increasing your straight-up time to kill potential. However, it can end up giving you many kills that you wouldn't have gotten otherwise in situations where an enemy gets around cover, or in situations where you end up dying in that gunfight, but just narrowly, then you can still get the kill on that player. And now we have one of the most important parts of this video. This is talking about the counter to incendiary rounds, which doesn't appear to exist, unfortunately. I tested every perk in the game that seems like it could even have some potential of countering these incendiary rounds or fire damage, and a bunch of perks that didn't even seem like they would, but I wanted to test them anyway. One of the big ones I thought would definitely counter fire damage, at least to some extent, was Fortified, because in the past with Call of Duty, the flak jacket style perk that protects you from explosives would also protect you from fire damage, and that's not the case at all. I also tried Survival Training, Dauntless, and a bunch of the other perks. I can't find a single method of countering this incendiary damage, which I just find to be really frustrating. I hate kill trades. Kill trades are so annoying, especially when you're on the receiving end of them, where you are the one that won the gunfight. You got the kill, you dropped that guy before you got killed, and yet there's nothing you can do about it. You're still going to die. And it can really just make you feel like you've been ripped off in that situation. It's a lose-lose situation. Both of you guys have now lost. 
And I mean, I could at least live with those situations if there were a viable counter to that. And if I wasn't running that counter, I would just think to myself, well, I guess I should have run the counter and that's my fault. And I maybe I'll switch to that in that game if I notice somebody's using those incendiary rounds. But yeah, as of right now, as far as I can tell, at least there is no counter to incendiary. And it's something that I hope the devs could really consider making a change to. I personally think Fortified should also be providing fire protection, or if they wanted to put that on survival training, maybe survival training's not getting enough usage, it's not popular enough, why not put fire damage on that? I think that would be excellent to see, as long as there was some sort of counter to this. But also, at the end of the day, are incendiary rounds completely overpowered? No, I don't really think so. Like I said, it's not actually improving your time to kill since it takes a while for that extra damage to apply to your target. It's just one of those things that I find to be frustrating and it can lead to a lot of jarring deaths. Now, of course, these are just my opinions based on the testing that I've done and the data that I have available. Now I wanna hear from you guys in the comment section below. Now that you know how these incendiary rounds work, what do you guys think of them? Do you think these are worth using? Maybe on certain guns more than others, or maybe in hardcore game mode compared to core game modes? And also, do you think there should be a viable counter to fire damage in Vanguard? Just let me know all of those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.